This is Les Pavlovich of the Free GeoTools blog, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the uh, shapefile editing features of MapWindowGIS. It's a simple editor, but a very nice one. We're going to start out first by loading in a file that already has geographic extents associated with it. You can either use a shapefile, or in this case I'm going to load in a uh, GeoTIFF file. So let's add a layer, load in a USGS topo. And this GeoTIFF has associated with it uh, UTM uh, Zone 12 coordinates. Now let's zoom in a little bit closer on one of the sections. I'm going to find some streets that I can trace over. And in this section I'm going to create some polygons that cover up the areas in between the streets. So first check in the plugins menu to make sure that the shape file editor is enabled. And then you'll find it on the toolbar. And you can actually drag it to a more convenient location like that. Right, next, we're going to click on the um, Create New Shapefile icon in the Shapefile Editor, and we'll have to specify a name for it. I'm going to call it Street. Click on Save, and also have to specify whether or not it's a point line or polygon shapefile, and I'll specify Polygon. Click on OK, and I'll tell us a new empty shapefile has been created. Now, to put shapes on it, you can start out first by clicking on the uh, Add New Shape to Current Shapefile icon, and I can create it the old-fashioned way, just by clicking on the map to create vertices, which are connected automatically. And I'll click on four of those, and when I'm done, right-click, and it fills in the map automatically. Now I'm going to, I want to see what's going on in the map underneath, so I'm going to create a little bit of transparency in this layer. Right now, transparency is zero. Let's set it to 30 percent. And now you can see, you can see part of the map underneath. Now I'm going to add another shape, but I want this shape to be directly adjacent to the previous one. And MapWindowGIS is nice in that it has a snap to feature, which you can enable by clicking on the shape file editor and checking off the appropriate box. And what that'll do is if I get anywhere close to a vertex of a, another shape in the shape file, it will automatically snap that vertex that I'm creating onto the vertex of the other shape. Just go ahead and finish that up. And now the second shape that I've created, a separate shape, is directly adjacent to the first one. I can select those independently, and you can see that those are separate. 